Hey, how's it going guys? My name is Daniel aka Hashlabs and welcome back to my channel. If you are new to my channel, welcome and consider subscribing. I teach people how to become Web3 developers and use blockchain technology. This video is a pre-recorded video to help you understand the dependencies that you will need as well as set up a basic starting dApp. This dApp, you'll be able to connect to MetaMask and follow along with future tutorials. So to get started, you will need Node.js. Go to nodejs.org and then download Node for your operating system and follow the installation process. Next, we will need to use an IDE. Now you can use whatever IDE you prefer. I prefer using Visual Studio Code. So if you want to follow along exactly with me, download and install Visual Studio Code for your operating system by going to this URL. Now that we have Node.js and Visual Studio Code installed, the next thing is to get the repository. You can go to this GitHub repo. I'll leave this link in the description. But what you want to do is click on releases over here and then simply go and download the zip file. Extract the zip file and then here is the actual repo that we will use. You need to now go ahead and open this in Visual Studio Code. In Visual Studio Code, let's click on open, go and find that folder and open it up in the root directory. Now that we have our project loaded in Visual Studio Code, let's click on Terminal at the top and select a new terminal. The first thing we want to do is install the dependencies. And you can do that by running npm install or npm i. Now click enter and let it install the dependencies. After the installation process is complete, you should see a screen like this. Let's go ahead and now run the program by typing in npm run start. When you do that, React will actually create for us a local version of the application and host it on localhost port 3000. This is the actual starter dApp. It is very basic, but what we can do with this dApp is click on connect at the top and connect with MetaMask. Now we can see that we've connected with our MetaMask. We can also right click, inspect the page, go to the console and also click on get balance. This will return to me a balance of NFTs that I have. This is just a starting dApp and for the future tutorials will work from this base point. Going back to the code, I would just like to show you that while the application is running, you should see it running over here. We can stop the execution by pressing Ctrl C and this will end our server. Basically, if we now refresh the page, you can see it's no longer there. We can start it again by simply running npm run start. Once we do that, we should see the application back up. So that is how you start and stop the application. For the most part, on the left hand side over here, we will be adding code in the SRC directory. Like I said, this is where we will spend the majority of our time changing the code in the app.js file. This is where we'll explore what we can do with blockchain technology, reading and writing to contracts. And that is it. For the next video, we'll probably start with a tutorial using this as the starting point. Now, I do want to mention if you are someone that actually wants to build this up from scratch, you can. You can watch the playlist Learn Web3 Development by building a DAP playlist. In there, I do actually build this from the ground up. But if you just want to follow along with my future tutorials and use this as the entry point, that is fine too. As always, if you ever feel like you are stuck and you need extra help, go to hashlips.online and join the Discord channel. In there, there are thousands of devs that's willing to help out. For now, this is where we are leaving off and getting ready for the next video.